Hello everyone, now let's start our tutorial for the 6000 universal cash remittance. Step 1, you have to go to your browser right here, type 6000.gov.tw and voila, you will get this display. So you are on the right web page for the 6000 for everyone. Now, when you locate your browser or cursor right here, you can see John One English. So you just click English, and then voila, step two is done. You see an English uh, web page. But if you're comfortable with Chinese, just click it back. In English, click it back. That's it. That's for step two. Now, step three, let's talk about who can get or who can claim the 6,000 cash for everyone. First, you must be a Taiwanese. Yeah, with household registration. That's first, that's really basic. Number two, you must be a Taiwanese, but you don't have household registration. Why? Maybe you work abroad. So you and your Taiwanese partner can also get this 6,000 cash for everyone. Or you are a Taiwanese, you don't have household registration, but you have a resident certificate. So where to get this resident certificate? You can actually get this easily in any household office. So that's it. It's really that fast and convenient to get this here in Taiwan. Now, next non-citizens or not Taiwanese but you can still get this 6,000 cash for everyone if for instance you are from China and you are married to a Taiwanese you also have household registration and you are also dependent to your Taiwanese spouse you have residency in Taiwan and it's not expired okay so either by divorce or death of a spouse so as long as your your arc alien resident certificate is not expired you can get this cash for everyone so from hong kong the same thing yeah same thing with mainland china and then for foreigners so for those filipinos southeast asians americans and all the rest who are married to a Taiwanese here with household registration and you have been a resident here in Taiwan so you have your ARC already and it's not expired you can get this um, 6,000 cash for everyone and finally a person from one or three preceding categories who's a, who has not set up household registration so if you are not a Taiwanese and you have this one two three you are from this category and you don't have household registration yet not yet yes you can still get this 6,000 rebate and then next we have a foreigner who has been granted permanent resident certificate for the Taiwan area so here permanent resident certificate or APRC if you have APRC and you're a foreigner then most definitely you can also get the 6,000 so for the newborn babies that's between October 1 or October 1st to December 31st 2023 the baby can also get the 6,000 if like you can secure the birth certificate at that time and the mother or the father meets one of the criteria right here okay yeah so yeah that's nice right now for the next step 
will have how to receive. So there are like five ways to get the 6,000 NT. First, you must have like direct remittance, remittance registration, ATM cash withdrawal, post office cash withdrawal, or a special channel for remote areas. So again, you can receive it if you are a Taiwan national, including infants born before the end of 2023 in Taiwan with a Taiwan birth certificate. Again, a government employee stationed overseas and their Taiwanese dependents. And for foreign spouses from mainland China, Hong Kong, Macau with residency. And of course, finally, the foreigners with permanent residency. That's it. So let's talk about direct remittance. So this is quite a lot. Although this one just says if you've been receiving allowances already, then it would be really fast for you to get this uh, remittance because it's going to be transferred to you automatically. Like if you're receiving insurance or benefits from old age, allowance and all that. I think you guys have to read this on your own. Now let's have ATM cash withdrawal. So here are the banks. We have Bank of Taiwan, Land Bank, Taiwan Cooperative Bank, First Bank, Huanan Bank, Jianghua, Mega International Commercial Bank, Taiwan Business Pan Bank, Cafe United Bank, Taishin International Bank, CTBC Bank, Eastern Bank, and the Jonghua Post. So you can, yeah, isn't that easy? You can just withdraw your money from the ATM. Next, we'll have a post office cash withdrawal. So for the post office cash withdrawal, here, you have to read this carefully, but for you to know the basic stuff you need, in-person remittance, you have to bring your national health insurance card. So in Chinese, I think that's Jinbaoka. You need that. Now, if someone will get it for you, then you need to have the national health insurance and an original copy of the photo ID of the proxy. So the, the proxy like with national health card or national ID card, alien resident certificate. So something that would prove that that person is actually um, not an illegal alien. Yeah. So the, the one can, so that person can claim your remittance or your 6,000 NT. Finally, we have the special channel for remote areas. So here. So this special channel for remote areas, we have this one from Shizhi Township in Pingtung, one wrong Hualien, Jenfeng Township in Taitung County, and their meetings will be made accordingly. So they have to register as, as being stated here. They have to complete the registration process in two weeks and then bring their recipients recipient's uh, health card or the proxy's health card or the national card for verification. So they have this special service for the remote area so that people from the place would also get the cash easily. Yeah, so I think that's basically it. And now we have to register. So when we register, here's what we need the recipient's national health insurance card number, so the number of your Jempauka, and then the national ID number or AHC number of the recipient or agent, financial institute account of the recipient or agent. Okay, so financial institute account, it means to the bank account. So let's try it right now. So for today, it's the first day to register. Um, it's in the news that only those card numbers ending in 0 and 1 can apply for today. And tomorrow, it's going to be, I think, 2, 3, and so on. So I'm going to apply for my husband, Leo. So let's have the ID number first. Okay, so for this step, 
for the registration, you have to provide your ID number or your ARC number, and the next, the code of the bank, then your account number, and then the card number of your National Health Insurance or Jampalka. So if you're done with that, you just click Next. So here it's trying to confirm your registration if all the things that you key there or your, you input there is correct. So apply. Okay. So see it said registration has been completed and is being verified. That's it. That's easy. Then you click home. Um, it has been said that my application for six cash for everyone or six thousand cash for everyone has been verified and processed already. So good luck. Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope you learned from me. If you have questions, please email hellofieldtie at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channels, Filipina in Taiwan Gen and Hello Phil Thai. And if you're in TikTok, please follow me, Hello Phil Thai, on TikTok. And finally, like my Facebook page, Hello Phil Thai. Bye, guys. If you want to know more about the Filipinos here in Taiwan, please don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>